Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with GadgetX, and today I'm going to show you how to set quick reminders by creating your own Android notifications. Now most notes and to-do apps will have some sort of reminder system that you can use to make sure you don't forget to handle some event coming up. But these apps are generally multi-purpose apps that let you do all sorts of different things in one place, which means just setting a quick reminder is a little more complicated than it needs to be. Well, if you're looking for simplicity, it doesn't get much easier than an app called Renotify. It basically lets you create your own Android notifications in one quick step, which will stay right there in your notification tray as a reminder until you're ready to dismiss them. Renotify is available for free on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial if you're having trouble finding it. But like I said, using this app is incredibly simple. As soon as you open it, your keyboard's already up and running, so all you have to do is type in a reminder or a quick note. From there, if you want to prevent your notification from being dismissed until you manually delete it, tick the box next to the persistent option. Beyond that, just tap the create button, then renotify will close out and you'll see your notification. From here, you can go about your day and know that you have this thing to deal with because you'll see it on every screen. Then once you've ticked that item off your to-do list, you can just swipe the notification away if you left the persistent box unticked, or you can just tap the notification to open it and renotify. From here, you can save or share the notification if you want to reuse it later, or you can just tap delete to get rid of it. So it's a really simple way to turn Android's notification system into your own personal to-do list, and it's more straightforward than most of the alternatives. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.